Welcome back to Suns Valley Podcast, everyone. It's going to hurt when we lose DeAndre Aiden. I'm trying to prepare myself for that. In doing so, I've come across a nugget of gold. Kai Soto from the Philippines. He's actually been playing in the Australian League, the NBL lately. This guy is sneaky. And cool thing is... Monty knows all about him and Monty seems to love him. If you search on YouTube, Monty Williams, Kai Soto, you will come across plenty of versions of him breaking him down, his game, and he's very complimentary. He talks about Kai's ability to slip pick and rolls. He talks glowingly about uh, his floater. He has a very nice floater game, especially for somebody that's tall. He talks about his ability to handle the ball and freeze the defense. I mean, he goes on and on. Suffice it to say, I haven't really seen him talk about DA this glowingly, and yet here he is making YouTube videos about Kai Soto. Point being, we know about him, we've gotta get him. There's an opportunity to get this 7-2 monster, this skilled freak. We can get him potentially, and I know this sounds crazy, without a second round pick. He might go undrafted. So let's talk about why he might go undrafted because I can argue against it very well. They say that this guy is slow-footed on defense and doesn't slide his feet well enough and he'll get he'll get, you know, switched off and pick and rolls and he can't hedge and he can't get back and listen. I present to you Joker, Nikola Jokic, a terrible defender and Nuggets fans don't just don't even start. I'm sick of you. I'm done with it. He's terrible. Admit it. I've watched him play a lot. He acts like he's going to defend you and doesn't. So if this guy can be an MVP of this league, I don't see why we can't have a starting center someday, not right away. He needs to he needs to grow. He needs to get a little bit stronger. He needs to work on his game. I don't see why he can't blossom into a starting center and why you can't win with a center like that. If you look back the last 10 years, you'll see that JaVale McGee is the winningest center of titles in the last decade because it doesn't matter in today's NBA what you're running at center. As long as you have somebody who can go get rebounds and and protect the rim, that's really what it boils down to. This guy is much more than that. Kai Soto reminds me of the way that Monty wanted Sticks to play. He wanted Sticks to play like an athletic Dario, which means a high IQ passer for his .5 system. That is Kai Soto, only at 7'2" with, in my opinion, what looks to be a better jumper than Dario. He shot 38.5% from three this last season. And did I mention he's seven (laughs) two? Look, there's just, there's a lot to like about him, but I, I get the qualms. All I'm saying is Joker's a terrible defender too. And it's always going to come back to that. So I just don't understand how this guy swatting all these shots in the pros against grown men, not children. I don't see a worse defender than Joker. So spare me. I'm just done with it. So another thing that I really like about Kai, his touch around the rim is fantastic hook shots, floaters. He's got a decent Euro, but really his floater game. His floater game is freaking fantastic. Um, He's got this crossover that he does about hip high. It feels like he's not going to be scared uh, to get to the rim and to handle the ball. You know how DA would get the ball. He kind of want to play hot potato with it, except for that one time he did that behind the back move and freaked everybody out. Yeah, this guy seems to have much better handles. He seems much more on like a Sabonis level playmaker. And he's also left-handed and he can shoot. So what's not to like? What's not to take a flyer? I personally, if I was putting money on this, I would be shocked if he didn't get drafted. It's just, 
man, uh, he's got so many things that he can do at his height. And he's not anorexic like Chet Holmgren. Sorry, he's not. So that's encouraging as well. I think that the Suns need to get him. Please tell me what you think in the comments. Am I capping? Am I reading this wrong? Do you guys think that he's going to be a bust? Does he look slow to you? And I'm just not reading the situation right. I'm out, y'all. I'm done ranting. Go Suns. Go Suns.